Hey guys, Dan Hood, Big DH2000 here. Um, got some sling mail, as they call it. Uh, this is from MJ, Mike McClure. Uh, he doesn't get on the forums too much anymore. Let me just make sure here. That's okay. But I still, I still stay in contact with him. And you guys know that we've uh, done a little bit of slingshot development, he and I. So let's put that away. So let's see what... I have a feeling I know what this is. Oh, check it out! A trash bag! <laughs> Not just kidding. Keep that address. For those who don't know, here's the original. He sent me it. I'm wow. This is cool. This is cool, MJ. Thanks, man. He said he made it originally as just something rough and rugged he could put on a belt clip while he was at work. You can see it gets real skinny at the one end and got a lot of the ideas that the flat cat also shares for belt clips. Not sure which one came first. Uh, it's also, if you look, the top is very similar to, um, he's also got slots cut in it. It's very similar to um, the SPS, which MJ or Mike has used a lot to do a lot of stuff and be quite successful in, um, in slingshot shooting stuff. Um, He's used this, I think, both through the fork and over the top, but mainly over the top, and he mainly made it for tubes. As he said, it's really rough and rugged, and it was just something fun for him to use. And, well, here's what it turned into now. As you can see, the size is pretty close. I'll put the littler one on the front and the big one on the back. Holes are roughly in the same place. The gap is a little bit bigger on the new one, which we, we call this the X90D um, factory model. For those who don't know, Mike's really into Star Wars, and X90D is factory model. His original model being tubes over the fork. This will eventually be tubes over the fork. And then, of course, we made the aftermarket where we put through the fork design on it. Um, I've, you guys have seen one of these. Uh, I clean, uh, I, I made it all by hand, the original one. And Noah Ray now has it. Cut, got a couple of these cut out of, um, with a water jet just to get a little more precise with the cut. And then I'll clean them all up. In fact, I do have one already Partially started cleaning this one up for through the fork. Um, but I only have one of these left. Somebody already snatched up the other one. And this one's actually going to be finished up and go into a very specific comb. Uh, and this is what started it all. So this is really cool. I have the original that started it all. And we'll, I'll cherish it, man, Mike. Thanks, dude. This will be a cool one to keep. So when anybody asks me, well, where did that start? I can just say, right there. <laughs> Thanks for the message too, man. I appreciate it. I've rambled on enough. You guys just wait and see where this one ends up. That's all I'm going to say.